33, please report to Agent Forsyth's office. <laughs> Is something bothering you? Just thinking about Nick, you know? Oh, that's right. He mailed that letter for you that one time, didn't he? Visit your friendly local automatic. Fresh new items await. Oh good, you're finally here. Let me know when you're prepared to learn something. Don't wait too long, you'll miss class. If I may speak... You may not. Class is in session. Can I ask... Please hold all questions till the end of the lesson. Agent Forsyth, that mission... Is being handled by experienced psychonauts. Do not bring it up again. When does class start? As soon as you get to my classroom. This isn't your classroom? No. This is. So are you ready, kid? Yeah. And what are you ready for? Safety. Oh, you think the human mind is safe? Well, that's cute. is how you perform the advanced psychic ability known as Mental Connection. Cool! Ooh, sorry, could you repeat that? Sorry, kid. I warned you not to be late. I'm off to attend to some fiduciary concerns. Norma, take over for me, won't you? You can practice with some of those loose ideas. But Agent Forsyth, is it safe to leave all these thoughts out like this if you're not here? Norma, please. It takes more than a few rambunctious children to affect the mind of a trained psychonaut. Try not to fall asleep in my class. All right, Rep Scallion. Okay, now how do I explain mental connection extremely simply? Let me guess. We focus on an idea in someone's mind until we form a tangible connection with it. Oh, I didn't realize you were a mental connection expert. By all means, give us a demo. Professor. Let's see what you got, little guy. Here's the steamer trunk tag. Let's go, I'm just a little I know that's you, Raz. Raz, just do it so my sister shuts up. What the heck did you just do? I said connect with the idea, not jump inside it like a hamster ball. Sorry. Old habit from the circus, I guess. Not only is cilantro delicious, it's affordable and easy to grow in a window box herb garden. What the heck is that? 
What? You left a slime trail. It's like he connected the two thoughts together. Oh, now you're in trouble. Hey, what's the big idea? Looks like disgust. Well, I'm sure it's not the first time Rasputin has created that thought in someone's mind. I know cilantro reduces the risk of digestive distress, but it tastes like soap. And honestly, I'd rather have the gas. Hey, Raz. If you can change Forsyth's opinion of cilantro, maybe you could change her mind about the casino mission. Hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, she worries about us kids too much. It's taking years off of her life expectancy. Hmm. If you could get her not to be so worried all the time, we could all go on a real Psychonauts mission! Well, I don't suppose it would hurt to take a look around up there. Just see if there's any, you know, problems. What's this little nugget of wisdom doing here? Oh, I like those. Straight to the top, Fraz. Of course, if you're scared, don't do it. I mean, you'll probably get kicked out of the Psychonauts for trying, but what the heck? Connect those thoughts, young man. Try not to kill her brain, Raz. Remember, it's for the good of the mission. Oh, wait. This was a terrible idea. They just don't have the experience. I don't want her to know I'm here. If I let them go to that casino, that's it. They'd be dead. Yeah, this was a bad idea. I'm going back. Ah! Our Lady of Restraint Neurological Hospital. I think Hollis said she was an intern here once. I always had my best ideas here. Let's just hope I don't run into Dr. Putz. Maybe trying to change her mind is a bad idea. No, wait. I think that is a bad idea. any bad ideas but my own. Speaking of, I gotta catch up to Hollis and try to change her mind about the mission. Yep. What's that sound? This hat box mm. needs a hat box. Take this nugget. <laughs> 
one of my side powers. Aha! Here's the hat box tag. I think I hear some. Oh my god, look at the size of that kid's head! Get him to radiology, stat! You saved another life, Dr. Potts. Oh, please, I was just doing my job. I heard the technique you used was developed by your intern, Hollis Forsyth. Oh, uh, my intern? Why, yes, yes, well, we did collaborate on that a little. The patient will make a full recovery, Dr. Potts. All thanks to you. Mm-hmm. And your brilliant intern, Hollis Forsyth. Why, uh, yes. Oh, well, she has been a helpful assistant. I like the look of these. This brain has made amazing progress. Another life saved by the Forsyth method. The, the Potts method? Potts? It was my invention? That in turn merely transcribed my dictation. Oh, uh, my apologies, Dr. Potts. In fact, I was thinking of getting rid of her. A mine. Huh. I've got half a mine to look for the other half. Something tells me it's not too far away. I can't believe some people. Ah, good luck collecting your debts after I'm dead, losers. Some people prefer open casket funerals. Disgusting. Hmm. At our current burn rate. Oh, that's no good. Maybe if I move some funds around. I could postpone paying those bills, but not these. Oh. Another rand is off the table for sure. Bet the gastronauts don't have to pinch pennies like this. Where am I going? I went to school for medicine. How did I end up stressing about money management all day? Well, I just need to put those thoughts aside and focus on the children. Their safety is the most important thing. And it's not just because a lawsuit would bankrupt us right now. That casino mission would be good experience for them. But it's too risky. What if I let them go and the worst happens? <sighs> Need to focus. Only one unfathomable fear at a time, Forsyth. If Hollis associated risk with something more positive than death, it would open her up to so many more missions. I mean, life experiences. Give me your wisdom, Nugget. Oh my. I just remembered how dire the Psychonauts' finances are. What if my husband starts wearing socks with sandals? Could I still love him? No. 
Whenever I see sockless animals, it reminds me of my favorite German college professor. If Hollis wants to solve her money problems, she's gonna need to accept some risk. Wearing socks with sandals leads to toenail fungus. Everybody knows that. That's not the change I was going for. Wearing socks with sandals leads to toenail fungus. When you pick up wild mushrooms, you really need to clean them thoroughly before cooking. Interesting. But that's not going to help us go on that casino mission. Yes. If I let those children go on that mission, they would surely die. Sure, it's fun to take risks. But what use is it? Who am I kidding? If I wasn't worried about something, I wouldn't be me. It just... I definitely could not handle that stressful casino mission right now. I think I just figured out how to solve all our money problems. Teach? What gives? I was in the middle of a sweet hookup there. Guess what, kids? You all did so well on your lesson. How about we give your new power a test drive out in the field? You mean we're going on the mission? For real? Isn't that dangerous? You know what they say, Sam. Nothing ventured, nothing brained. I don't think that's what... Let's roll. Heck yes! Cool. All right. Sweet. Um... Woo! I'm so glad you changed your mind about the mission, Agent Forsythe. I was nervous about bringing the children, but if you feel that it's safe, then it must be. It's crucial we find out what these delusionists are up to at the casino. With you handling tactical command, I'd say our probability of mission success has risen 35%. I'll take those odds. Now, how long till we reach the Lady Lactopus? We're almost there. Agent Forsythe, how are you feeling? <laughs> Lucky. Well, we're here. Using a false identity, we've secured a high roller suite to use as our base of operations. Now, children, you are not to leave the suite. Like most casinos, the Lady Lactopus has a strict no psychics policy. Yes. Weak. I'm happy for this chance to observe Agent Forsyth in action. Teacup, this is Shoehorn. We are nearing position one. I'm moving down the primary ventilation shaft, and Dustpan is approaching the front desk. Shh! <gasps> Rasputin, don't sneak up on me like that. Listen, do me a favor and run up to the jet, will you? I need my dowsing goggles. I left them on my seat, I think. You wanted to be on a mission. Now here's your first objective. Fetch my dowsing goggles. Okay, but hurry. Our window of opportunity is closing. All right, I'll be right back. Come in. Are you there? Hollis. Oh. Hmm? oh, yes. Shoehorn, this is Teacup. I have you on visual. Teacup, this is Dustman. I'm approaching position one. After you've disabled the size detectors and inhibitors, on your go ahead, I'll approach the reception desk and distract the clerks. After they're distracted, I'll drop into the office and find the room number that belongs to this key. Just make sure to disable the main fan, because my position is close. <laughs> 
No need to explain, agents. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Let's keep radio silent so I can concentrate. Everything's good on the mission so far. You mean except for our mission commander having a total breakdown? It's not a breakdown. She's just strategizing. Uh-huh. <laughs> what are you doing in there, Sam? When Agent Forsythe finally blows, this will be the only safe place. <laughs> what you doing, Morris? I'll tell you what I'm not... I don't see any dousing goggles anywhere. I mean, to be fair, I have no idea what they look like. I've actually never even heard of dousing. Oh no. Agent Forsyth, where are you going? Oh no, Hollis, what did I do to you? Rasputin, is that you? Mia? Sasha? Agent Forsyth is missing, but don't worry, I'll find her. Hurry, Rasputin. We're in big trouble here. Yes, please find Agent Forsyth right away. I don't know how long I can... Hold on! Oh. I'm on it. Did Agent Forsyth say where she was going? She just said she was going to solve all of our problems once and for all. That's not ominous. Who says that's ominous? Nobody thinks that's ominous. Mm-hmm. I can't go into the hotel. They have anti-psychic detectors. Hollis must have some way to hide it. is gone. Oh, good. Hopefully she's got Guys, to complain about we have to find Agent company. Foresight. Oh, is she gone? It's a trick. She wants to see if we break into these bottles. Clever. Not falling for it. Psychic activity detected. Weak. I'm going to make. Hollis, wait! Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jours. Ladies and gentlemen, place your bags. Don't worry, Agent Forsythe. I can fix this.
Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Ladies and gentlemen, no more bets. Different. But maybe it's not so bad. Foresight? You in here? No, oh, I don't like this one bit. <laughs> oh no! Looks like Hollis had a spontaneous change in her worldview. Unrelated to my inappropriate meddling with her thoughts. Who am I kidding? I need to find Hollis's quiet room again and break that bad mental connection I made. Uh... uh yeah, mind stepping aside, buddy? This is an emergency. No. No. No, you don't mind, or like a general no to me existing? So, uh, your ghosts don't have to walk very. Oh, never mind. Oh. 
so pretty, so wise. <gasps> Suitcase tag. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, call me Jack. <laughs> Let's go for double or nothing. Woo! Banana. Banana. <laughs> yep. <gasps> Banana. Banana. <laughs> Infection? <laughs> ah, dang it. I'm so sorry, Doctor. <laughs> oh, well, it can't be helped. Some patients are just bad luck. <laughs> I don't like the look of these. Mm. Yes, the heart's salvageable, but the rest? Should we fold? No, no let's hold oh. the eight and the queen, and we'll pull for the insides, Jake. Yep. I'll just quickly pop into Hollis's quiet place and fix this mess. High Rollers Lounge? That's not good. Oh no! Rasputin, what are you doing here? Sorry, I didn't mean to crash your... hospital... casino. Oh, everyone's welcome in the casino. Without gamblers, how else would we make any money? <laughs> <laughs> no, you just can't be up here, because it's the High Rollers Lounge. Wait! Agent Forsyth, I need to tell you... <laughs> what the...? Oh, phew. It's just the morgue. Yes, Rasputin? Uh, we got a patient here. Needs emergency access. Sorry. The table minimum in the High Rollers Lounge is, uh, three gazillion dollars. What? How much is a gazillion? More than you got, kid. <laughs> My patient is dying. He needs fancy drinks. Stat. In my opinion, your patient needs an emergency dose of three gazillion dollars. <laughs> Woohoo! Dang it, not again! What are you two doing here? Uh, losing by following my foolish heart. What are you thinking? Hearts is like a gazillion to one. A gazillion to one, you say? So if I bid on hearts and one, I'd win a gazillion dollars. Right? Hey, where'd you go? That's the last bet. Runners to your starting gates. Prepare the patient for the exam. And they're off. I think I hear some emotional baggage. Diamond Day's dropping down.
locked. And a spade in full, taking the trophy. Congratulations to the winners on their bets. Runners, take a hot five in the back. Uh, so can I go back to my room now? Sorry, sir. The doctor wants more tests. <laughs> Doctors and nurses, place your bets. <laughs> hmm. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through. <laughs> Starting gates. <laughs>